Today we are going to talk about meeting a boy's parents. The keyword you want to remember here is pastel. You want to come across as the most pastel version of yourself possible. What does this mean? I'm going to tell you. What every woman wants for her son, and we're going to focus on mom's opinion here because dads are like very easy to impress, you know, whatever. What you really need to win over is mom because if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. And you should never underestimate the power of mom's opinion like to her son. Like everyone cares what their mom thinks. So when I say pastel, mom wants their son or daughter to date the safest possible person, someone who is not going to lie to them, leave them, lead them into risky situations, lead them out of their chosen path. Like they want someone who is just safe. And that is the image you need to portray. Whether or not that's who you are, that's a whole other story. If you want to impress the parents, listen to me. Think about it like you're either meeting royalty or you're going to church. Even if you don't go to church, you kind of have an idea of like what that means. Dress conservatively, nothing edgy, nothing trendy, nothing tardy, very conservative. Same with your makeup. It's better to be thought of as plain than like slutty and slutted up. That will win you zero brownie points. Stay away from the red lipstick and the smoky eye and like the elaborate hair and the extensions. Like go as natural as possible. Again, pastel a pastel version of who you are because pastels are easy breezy. Very important, bring a gift. Hostess gifts are the cornerstone, I believe, of civilization because they're the cornerstone of good manners. You bring her mom, you bring mom a nice bottle of olive oil. Wine is risky. You don't know how much people drink. Wine can be expensive. What if they're a wine aficionado? What if they're sober? You just don't know, so stay away from it. A nice bottle of olive oil, you can get one for like eight bucks at Trader Joe's. Like, Beautiful. Get a nice like dish towel from Target or TJ Maxx and wrap the bottle in the dish towel and then tie it with a pretty little ribbon with a little note saying, thank you so much for inviting me to your beautiful home. I can see where his son gets all of his charm. Amazing. She'll be delighted. If you bring her flowers, make sure they're already in a vase. Nothing's more annoying than receiving flowers and being like, cool, I'm going to spend the next 20 minutes cutting the stems off and getting them in water. If you bring her something to eat, Either you bake it or get it from a nice bakery and pretend that you baked it. Because again, baking equals domestic equals safe. In terms of your actual behavior, you don't need to necessarily call someone ma'am or sir. You just need to not disagree with them, basically. Steer away from topics like religion, politics, I don't know, pubic hair, just stay away from it. Do not cuss. Even if you hear them cussing, you do not cuss. Pretend you're at church. And if the, the conversations do get a little pointed, like, so are you a Democrat or a Republican? She's like, oh, we might disagree on some things, but we do agree on the most important thing, which is your son is utterly amazing. I mean, how charming is that? <laughs> right? So charming. You want to veer away from things that show what you don't have in common and veer towards things that show what you do have in common because commonality equals safety. After you guys meet, if you go over to their house for dinner, you go out to dinner, you send them a thank you note, a handwritten, mailed thank you note. Don't count on your boyfriend to pass on your text, oh, I had a really fun time. Little things like that, a gift, conservative dress, a few charming statements, eye contact, a thank you note, add up to an utterly charming, wonderful experience for mom. And if mom is on your side, even if the guy's like, I don't know, should I break up with her? She's going to be like, you better not, because she is a gem. She's the Kate Middleton of this college, this high school. And you want to be the Kate Middleton, okay? You don't want to be the Lindsay Lohan. If you guys have love questions, please find me on Facebook, Shallon Lester, and send them to me there. Also, add me on Google Plus so that I can reply to your comments below. And subscribe to me on Facebook so you can keep up with all the updates, weekly tips, and my newest videos. Audio.